All right, welcome to another RV mod here on Idaho Voyager today. Uh, we've got the shelf fever again. We are adding a shelf to one of the storage compartments. And uh, there's the legs to the shelf. Details coming right up. Okay, welcome back. And if you've watched uh, some of my other mod videos here on Idaho Voyager for the 2075 from Lance, you'll notice I did a uh, modification on the pullout tray and I used these two by three pieces of wood uh, to reinforce the tray. Check out the video. You can see the link on the top right-hand corner of your screen. Anyway, I did have these um, leftover pieces and I decided to put them to good use. So I cut them all 11 inches long and I've painted them black and I'm gonna do a cool mod on one of the storage compartments I'm here on the road side of the trailer, and as I've mentioned many times before, uh, one thing we love about this Lance 2075 is all the storage. And right here, there's this uh, roadside compartment. It's got ventilation, and it is designed to be a generator compartment. But for the time being, I'm really not using it for a generator, so I wanna maximize what I store in here. Uh, like some other folks in some Lance forums have referred to this space as, I like to think of it as the quote, garage. So I keep um, leveling stuff, a wrench, chocks, things of that nature, but I think there's a better way to maximize this space because there's a lot of empty space here that's not being used. So I'm going to create a shelf uh, that is not fixed in any way to the actual trailer and can be disassembled and removed down the road if I do wanna use this for a generator application. So here we go. Okay, so back here in the garage, um, I've got 11 inch uh, legs that I created from the leftover two by threes, as I mentioned. And if you watched my shelf mod for the storage slash uh, wardrobe cabinet, I'm gonna use the same type of technique where I use legs and a well-fitting shelf board to bind everything together so I don't have to attach it to the trailer. So these legs, I am spray painting black so it blends in with the storage compartment so it doesn't look so out of place. Okay, so first step is I went to Home Depot and again, I got this um, double-sided board. One side is kind of like a chalkboard and the bottom is a dry erase board. This is the same material I used inside the camper for the wardrobe shelf modification. And I like it because it's lightweight, but it's pretty sturdy too. And on this top shelf, I'm not gonna put very heavy items. And so I thought this was a good choice. And you can see I cut it really snug, so it's really wedged in there. So when it clamps down to the, the legs, it's really gonna be tight. Okay, step two was just putting those legs in place. I haven't fastened anything, but you can see already those legs are in place. Once I tie this shelf down, uh, we're gonna have a pretty darn good first step and then I'm going to reinforce it with a little brace on the bottom side and back uh, the side and back of the bottom I'll show you how that's going to work okay so on the top shelf here I did not try to reinvent the wheel there wasn't enough space here to do a drill so I simply just nailed this to these legs which is plenty because on the bottom I'm going to reinforce it here with piece there and you can see how snug that is and then we're gonna hit this with some L brackets so that'll tie everything up and we'll do the same in the back and so we'll be good to go we'll not go anywhere and the nice thing is it's not fastened to the trailer so anytime I want to use this for a generator I can just pull it right out so right now I'm gonna go ahead and 
uh, cut up the rest of these. I'm gonna paint them black and then I'm gonna fasten the L brackets and then we'll show you um, the finished product. I'm a big believer that the difference is in the details. So while these uh, dry, these are the bottom reinforcements, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a little touch up paint work. As Bob Ross would say, we're going to gently, gently apply a little paint to the slip here so it turns black. Wow, just hitting that little section with black paint made a whale of a difference. Makes it look super custom. Love that look. It lo does not look intrusive at all. Looks super, super custom, which is really awesome. And again, it is not attached to the trailer. So right now I'm gonna put in those braces on the bottom, just waiting for them to dry. And then I'm gonna load this up nice and neat and show you the finished product. All right, so I got it all done. I had to hustle here because I'm running out of daylight. So I need a flashlight to show. But you can see the pieces there with the L brackets, kind of supporting it from the bottom. And a um, little minor issue here. This one, there's a little gap here. I should have pushed it down, but it's getting late. But I think that'll work. Uh, but you can see it's all reinforced. The top shelf looks awesome. And now time to organize and show you the finished product. All right, so you can see how that's gonna look. The top shelf is gonna carry those plastic um, uh, levelers. I use them for my jack. Um, they're not very heavy, but it's just a place to get them all out of the way. And that frees out the bottom for heavier items like chocks, wrenches, hitch apparatus and everything in between. So that is a much better use of space. It looks pretty custom, it's sturdy enough, and it's not attached to the trailer. So it's easily removable if and when I choose to use this for the intended purpose of a generator. But that's gonna do it, it's getting dark. I had to hustle, but I got her done. If you like this kind of content, if you find it entertaining, and more importantly, if you find it useful, subscribe today. Thanks for joining us here on Idaho Voyager.